exercise your head. Read. Gooster is brought to you in part by Nike. Additional bucks that keep our team supreme come from public television viewers like you and me. The Corporation for Public Broadcasting. The John Dean Catherine T. McCarver Foundation. The Pew Charitable Trust. And the U.S. Department of Education. But you can't save all on breath. I bet you can. We don't know where he came from. He just showed up one night. What is that thing? He's not an alien. What is he? We think he might be a ghost. Be serious. He wants to be friends with us. But he can't hear and he can't talk. He can read anything. He takes letters and he writes with them. We're the only ones who can see him. That means he wants you on the team. You have to promise never to tell anybody about Ghost Rider. Hey, cool. We're the Ghost Rider team. We check out clues and solve mysteries. He's a ghost and he writes to us. Ghost Rider. What a trip. How's your school pictures? Um, it's fine. Oh, I hate mine. It's terrible. And my dad is going to send it to all my aunts. It can't be that bad. It is. You'd laugh. I won't. Come on, let me see. No! <laughs> <laughs> Now you show me yours. <laughs> uh-uh. <laughs> no way. <laughs> hey. Oh, man, you are bad. Hey, can I get in next game? Yeah! Nice shot, man. Oh. Nice shot. Who's next? Not you. You can play with chumps. Hey, the name's Craig. You want to run? Don't you got some fancy gym to play? Hey, I live here. Where else am I supposed to play? Time out. Wait a minute. Hold on, honey. I'll be right back. Hey, Momo. Hey, chill, Momo. He's cool. Yeah? Who said you're cool? You did it once, remember? Second grade. Man, get out of here. Shh. Turkey, turkey, turkey. What's going on here? This bench woman here thinks he's a player. Hey, I've been calling Lex game for the last hour. Why should I let you in over all these fine athletes? Because I can play. Sure. Hey, I can take you. You can't deal with my game. Hey, lighten up here. Why don't you two go a little one-on-one? -on -one? You know, may the best man win. Yeah, sure. Tomorrow. Tomorrow right now, homeboy. Scared? No, I got to go right now. I got a job Saturday morning. Hey, hey. How about uh, tomorrow afternoon? You know, 2.30. All right. You got yourself a game. Yeah, Mo. <laughs> hey, man, she did the ball, man. shots. What, what's your movie about? It's about what kids like to do after school. Hey, I'm a kid. It's after school. I like doing things we're there. Hi, guys. What's happening? Lenny, can I 
interview you for my video? Yeah, great. I'll be the reporter. Stand by for a second. I gotta shoot this cab. Mr. Brinker, this new game you have is really wild. <laughs> yeah, I thought you'd like that. <laughs> Wait for me. Afternoon. Hey, I was speedy. You know, I think you watch these movies on fast forward. Yes. Well, I have something in here for you, too. Really? What? What is this? Hey. setting me up. I thought all this while, I thought you were my best customer. All this while, you've been setting me up. Get out of here. Infringement. Oh, man. Gabby, I don't need a reporter, so stop bugging me. Can you wait a minute, Lenny? I gotta get another video tape. I've been wasting a lot. Sure. Hey, Jamal, where's Mr. Brinker? told you to get out of here. Mr. Brinker. Forget it. Three dollars. This isn't new. It's not sealed. It's new. You want it? Three bucks. There you go, Mr. Brinker. That's my card. You got any questions, you call me. Anytime. This tape isn't new. Look, I don't care. If you don't like it, go shop somewhere else. All right, here's three dollars. Hey, I'm, uh, what's the matter, Mr. Brinker? I want you out of here, too. I'm sick of you kids coming in here like you own the place. Kids are your best customers. 
Oh, what do you do? You come in here, you play the games, get your greasy fingerprints all over everything, make trouble? We don't make trouble. We buy a lot of stuff. What stuff? Nickel dime stuff. Hey, if you don't lighten up, we're going to boycott you. Don't threaten me. Get out of here. Get out! Out! You're going to be sorry. What do you want? Greasy fingerprints. What a jerk. Brinker, you stinker. You're a nasty old geek. Ghost Rider. Make Brinker be nicer to us kids. You can catch more flies with honey than with vinegar. Okay, so if we want Mr. Brinker to be nicer to us, we have to be nice to him. <laughs> Clever Ghost Rider. <sighs> Dear Mr. Brinker, the way you treat some of your best customers is, is what? Is bad? No. He's stupid? No, I'll just make him mad. Uh, Grandma? Mm -hmm. Um, excuse me just a second. I need a word that says that somebody's wrong, but won't listen to us when we try to tell them our side. Oh, how about they're as funky as the back brakes on a desert buzzard? No, Grandma. I don't want to make him mad. Oh, all right. Sounds as though they're a little, um, closed-minded. Or pig-headed. How about unreasonable? Unsomething. Uncouth. Unreal. Unpleasant. Unfair. Unjust. Unjust. That's it. Thanks, Grandma. You're a genius. Oh, thanks. If I'm such a genius, how come I can't figure this bookcase out? Dear Mr. Brinker, the way you treat some of your best customers is unjust. If you were nicer, we would buy more things from you. We don't want to make trouble. We just want to be treated fairly. Sincerely, Jamal. There you go. Aha. Hey, where are you off to now? 
Okay, if I go to the library. I don't want you wandering around all night. You'll be back by 7.30. Yes, ma'am. Oh, you're doing a good job there. <laughs> Six fifty, shoot. Kinda late for deliveries. Uh, Grandma, I'm home. Ooh, what are we here? Ta-da! Maybe I'm a genius after all. Yeah, maybe you are. Oh, you ripped your sleeve. Let me have that. Oh, thanks, Grandma. Please don't touch anything, Mr. Brinker. We're still searching for evidence. I gotta clean up in here or I'm out of business. We need time for our investigation. Now, you want us to find out who did this, right? Give me a break. This is my livelihood. Friends are always true. If 
you get in trouble, a friend will help you through. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. Now, time for the next verse. Should I use? Friends can make you happy. Friends can make you sad. Too corny. Friends can make life meaningful. Yuck! The word is too long. Friends are forever. Friends are always there. That's it. Friends are forever. Ghostwriter. Don't spare the horses. news team. Can I ask you a few questions? I'm sorry, honey. I'm too busy right now. This is a crime scene. We've got procedures. Oh, my stock, my merchandise, my telephone. Go home, Mr. Brinker. Get some rest. Oh, you get some rest. Excuse me, sir. Can I interview you for a video newsreel? Not now, little girl. I really want to get an interview with those guys. Well, we'll think of something. Whoa! Hey, can't you read? This is a crime scene. Do not enter. Sorry, but I have something. Okay, but be quick about it. Great, give me two minutes. I did it, I got you an interview with the police guy. How did you do that? This note. Fires are scary with all the flames and heat and smoke. Please talk to us so we can show kids that you have things under control and everything is safe. You wrote this? Great images. They got us the interview. Like here. The flames and heat and smoke. All right, I'll give you a shot. Excellent. Wow. You're on, Gabby. There is a fire here at Brinker Electronics. This is Lieutenant... McQuaid, Isaiah McQuaid. Arson and Explosive Division, 11th Precinct. Right. What happened? Well, last night at about 7 p.m., there was a fire that burned out the back room of Mr. Brinker's store. How do you know it was at 7? Because that's the time the clock stopped. The fire knocked out the electricity in the whole building. I don't know if you can see, but the clock is still stuck at 7.05. How did it start? We don't know, but we think it was deliberately set. That's called arson. Do you have any suspects? Yes, the store has a security camera that turns on whenever it senses movement. We have a videotape of someone outside the store just before the fire began. He dropped something in the slot in the door. Now, don't worry, kids. As soon as we have the person on that videotape, we'll have our villain, and he won't be setting any more fires. Thanks, Lieutenant. That's a cut. That was great! <laughs> What's going on? Is Jamal OK? It's not here. There was a fire at Brinker's. The whole back room was burned. They think somebody said it on purpose. It's Carson. Arson. Wow. 
Hey, what's up? Well, that's him. That's the kid. What are you talking about? You asked me if anybody ever threatened me. He did. Just yesterday. He's a troublemaker. I told him I, I, I didn't want him hanging around, so he threatened me. He told me I, I'd be sorry, and he's right. I betcha he's the one who burnt down my store. <laughs> <laughs>